Comrade Ahmed Kathrada, please come and address us. Director, Mrs. Grasha Michelle, Mrs. Winnie Mandela, uh, the entire Mandela family, uh, President Zuma, Deputy President Kalima, honorable dignitaries, uh, former President Tabo Mbeki, ladies and gentlemen. The last time I saw my Deva alive is when I visited him in hospital. I was filled with an overwhelming mixture of sadness, emotion, and pride. He tightly held my hand. It was profoundly heartbreaking, and it brought all emotions in me, and my mind automatically flashback to the picture of the man under whom I grew up. How I wished I'd never had to confront what I saw. I first met him 67 years ago and I recalled the tall, healthy, strong man, the boxer, the prisoner who easily wielded the pick and shovel when we couldn't do so. The prisoner who vigorously exercised every morning before we were unlocked. What I saw in hospital was a man helpless and reduced to a shadow of himself. And now, the inevitable ha has happened. He has left us to join the A, uh, the A team of the ANC. The ANC in which he cut his political teeth and the ANC for whose non-racial, non-sexist policy he sacrificed his whole life. for which was prepared to die. He has joined the A-team of Chief Lituli, Walter Sisulu, Oliver Tambo, Governor Mbeki, Raymond Mtlava, Yusuf Dadu, Jack Simons, Moses Katani, Bram Fisher, Monty Nyker, J.B. Marks, Helen Joseph, Ruth First, Professor Matthews, Bayes Nadir, Joe Slovo, Lillian Ngoy, Masa Sulu, Michael Holm. In addition to the ANC ACE team, Madiba also joined leaders and members of other organizations uh, outside the ANC. Helen Sussman, Steve Biko, Ellen Payton, Robert Sobukwe, Sissy Gould, Benny Keys, Neville Alexander, Zeb Tipping, and many others. We are a country that has been blessed by many great and remarkable men and women, all of whom have played a critical role in the liberation of our country. We have been blessed by the contribution of the many different movements and, all, and formations, both inside and outside the country, who stood by us in the dark days of apartheid. We have been blessed by a struggle that actively involve the masses of the people in our country. We have been blessed by the ANC that under its collective leadership rose to the forefront in our struggle for freedom, proclaiming proudly South Africa belongs to all who live in it, black and white. For all this and more, we are deeply grateful to Madiba. We are deeply grateful that today we live in a lively democracy. We are deeply grateful that dignity has been restored to all South Africans. We are deeply grateful 
that the lives of tens of thousands of people have and continue to be improving. We are deeply grateful, grateful for a constitution that encompasses all that is good in us and a constitution and court that protects our hard-won freedom. We are deeply grateful to the Chapter 9 institutions which jealously guards our constitutional democracy. Finally, we are grateful to each and every one of us, whether we are black, white, colored, Indian, who can proudly call ourselves proudly South Africans. Mindful of our gains, we nevertheless know that we have a long road ahead. There's poverty, there's hunger, there's disease, education, many, many things that still are challenges that before us. Finally, Honorable President, I wish to address myself to Madiba or to Madala, as he and I uh, called each other. He was not, I don't consider him to my friend. He was my elder brother. What do we say to you, Madala, in these days? The last final moments together before you exit the public stage. Madala, your, abs your abundant reserves of love, simplicity, honesty, service, humility, care, courage, foresight, patience, tolerance, equality, justice, continually served as a source of enormous strength to many millions of people in South Africa and the world. You symbolize today, Madala, and always will, qualities of a collective leadership, reconciliation, unity, forgiveness, nation building, and a non-racial, non-sexist South Africa. In this spirit, you exemplify your life. It is up to the present generation and generations to come to take up the cudgels where you have left. It is up to them to face all the challenges that South Africa faces today, which I will not name. In all these challenges, we will be guided continuously by your wisdom and by our actions. Today, mingled with our grief, is the enormous pride that one of our own has during his lifetime and now in your death, united the people of South Africa and the entire world on a scale never before experienced in history. Remarkably, in these few last days, the masses of our people from whatever walk of life have demonstrated how very connected they feel to you and how the story of your life is their story and how their story is yours. Madala, you have captured this relationship beautifully on the occasion of the death of our father, Comrade Walter Sasulu. Quote, we share the joy of the living and the pain. Together we shared ideas, forged common commitments. We walk side by side through the valley of death, nursing each other's bruises, holding each other up when our steps faltered. Together we savored the taste of freedom." Unquote. To Mrs. Grasha, members of the Mandela family, our love and respect and support go out to you. And we wish there was a way that could ease your grief and pain. These last few months have been particularly hard and we trust that in these ensuing weeks and months you will be able to find the rest and peace you so much deserve. We mourn with you and wish you strength at this time of need. Madala, we may be drowned in fear, uh, in sorrow and grief. We must be proud and grateful 
that after the long walk paved with obstacles and suffering, we can salute you as a fighter for freedom in the end. Farewell, my dear brother, my mentor, my leader. With all the energy and determination, well, come on, we pledge to join the people of South Africa to perpetuate your, your ideal. When Walter died, I lost a father. And now, I have lost a brother. My life is in a void. And I don't know who to turn to. Thank you very much.